If I start to tapping on my screen, I can do a rough outline. Now, I have masked on the cut page with a custom mask, that text tracked really well right on my eye using this overlay. This wasn't possible before. We have this super popular locked on stabilization effect. Really quickly, you just run the track, you scale in, and you've got your effect. Today, I'm gonna to talk about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Now, I'm not sure about the general state of how people feel about Resolve on the iPad. It's still very, very cool. And when it came out, I talked a lot about how, how amazing it was that you could use Fusion presets at all, you know, drag like a generator, access the full power of Fusion, even if the Fusion page wasn't um, like officially unlocked. There were ways to like work around that and get access to all the pages relatively early on. Um, I've never specifically talked about that on the channel, um, but even in this video, I'm still gonna use the uh, DaVinci Resolve app as is. But specifically, I wanna talk about one relatively new feature they added that I think is legitimately uh, the biggest update to Resolve on the iPad since it launched. And this update does have to do with those fusion effects and presets and how you can get a lot more power out of them right on the cut page. Uh, with with this small update. I have my iPad here where I'm recording, and the first thing I wanna do is a small review of how to get some external tools into Resolve on the iPad. So I have a file browser here connected to my other workstation, and if I grab something um, like my master uh, tracker preset, if I find this DRFX, I want to save to files, and then on my iPad we have a folder just for DaVinci Resolve, and then if we click Fusion, we click templates, you can see I have other DRFX bundles here and this is where you want to drag them and then they will show up um, for you in the effects browser of the cut page in Resolve on the iPad. So I'll click save there, um, that's master tracker. And then also to demonstrate, I'm grabbing my uh, magnify effect. Um, I'll grab the free version, save to that same location on my iPad, Resolve Fusion templates, save. And then the last one being my, uh, I call them edit page masks, but hopefully we'll see they'll work on the cut page as well. This masks, save to files, iPad, resolve, fusion, templates, save. And then now, if I go to DaVinci Resolve, I have this blank timeline open. Uh, number one, let's see if they popped up automatically or whether I will need to restart. Let me scroll to where, Er, 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 Sterling supply comes up. Come. Let me scroll here. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I think of these, at least some of them are effects. Yeah, there we have our edit page masks. We have, what were the other ones I loaded? Oh, my master tracker and my magnify effect. Cool. So we loaded those presets in automatically. Super cool. We didn't even need to restart. If I go back to my media, drag a little clip on my timeline. We are just here on the cut page, but the important thing we're gonna look at, the big update is in our main viewer here. I know you can't see my mouse, but here underneath my viewer in the bottom left-hand corner is this little button and I'm tapping right there. These sort of like dial bars. And if I open that up, a new feature that was added was this option all the way on the right for this effect overlay. By default, that is the open effects overlay, but now we have this new option for a fusion overlay. If you click that, nothing will happen by default because um, there aren't any fusion effects on this clip, but we can add them. Let me go back and grab my um, video effects. Scroll down. Oh, there we go. And I'll grab something like this custom edit page mask. If I drop that on there, by default, nothing will happen because this is the custom effect. But with that fusion overlay open, if I start to tapping on my screen, I can do a rough outline, close that up. And then because of the way this effect was built, um, it inverts it by default so that you can see your whole image when you draw it. But if I uncheck this invert option, now I have masked on the cut page with a custom mask. And then I can even go and I grab these handles change this up, soften this edge, um, increase it out this way. Wow, super cool. These are controls I publish for people to use on the edit page, but with this fusion overlay, you now have full access to them here on the cut page, which is native for Resolve on iPad. Uh, let's get rid of this, try something else pretty cool. Let's grab an effect. Uh, no, generator is what we want. And I'm gonna grab the, my master tracker Tracking preset, if I drag that over, it's a generator. And if I select it, 
I'm gonna come to the beginning of my clip and we have this little search bar here. Ooh, it's giving us a fun little error. Okay, that doesn't happen on the full version. But if I position this right over my eye, let's see if this works. This is the one I was most excited to test. If I open up track controls with that little box, that selecting box for the track right over my eye, let's see if this tracks forward. We'll give it a few seconds, see how it does. Oh, and the text sort of tracked over there. If I go into that source control, change that track up to like position it next to my eye. I'll toggle off this overlay and I'll play and we'll see uh, how this track goes. Boom. Um, it is showing, oh, that's pretty interesting. It is showing oh, those overlays, even though I toggled them off when I played. Let's go to this like uh, uh, transform options. But now that text tracked really well right on my eye um, using this overlay. This wasn't possible before. Why I'm excited about this is because this unlocks so much more functionality. What I like about uh, presets and templates and plugins um, that you build in Fusion is that you can take so much of the power of Fusion and make it much more accessible um, to users who know nothing about Fusion when they work just on the editor cut pages. And this ability to interact directly with elements on screen um, is just another whole layer of power. Now this effect, as it is part of my master tracker plugin, by default it is text. You can also change this to a loader. Um, let's see how that works. Can I, oh yeah, I can. This can pull in any image. Let me try to find uh, an image, a picture. What do I have here? Oh, a screenshot, cool. And I can load in an entire screenshot, scale that down. And now that screenshot will also stay tracked. The tracking data stays the same, so I don't need to retrack that. And um, oh, I don't believe this has been fixed, but if I change this to drop zone, uh, uh, ooh, let's actually, yeah, this is something I haven't revisited. Before you couldn't open your media pool and your inspector, and it looks like you still can't. And on desktop or a laptop, this is what you would need to do because you need to drag a piece of media over into this little clip name window. Um, but if you can't have both windows open at the same time, you can't do that. So this is how you would track a piece of video into your scene. Um, this uh, clip browser sort of um, loader option is just for stills. Um, so, hey, that looks like one thing you can't do by default on Resolve on the iPad, but you can do images, you can do text. Or if I go back, grab, oh, this is a generate, right? Or if I delete that, open up my effects, and grab something like my lock on effect. This is locked on stabilization. Then I want that overlay, open up my inspector. I will move that preview. It is a little bit of a bummer that we aren't getting that overlay or that zoom working correctly, but the fact that the tracking still works is awesome. I will track forward. It will do its thing. And then when it's done, you see it shifts our uh, footage down. But when I come back up to this user scale, I just scale in and now, we have this super popular locked on stabilization effect really quickly. You just run the track, you scale in and you've got your effect. You could uh, stretch this generator out and track that other distance if you would like it. Um, what's the last thing we brought in? That was this effect, that was this generator. Oh yes, this magnify effect. Now this is an example of, of something where you could change this position purely in the inspector. But if you toggle on this fusion overlay, it is much easier to just drag this around, look at something in the background, look at something here, um, without having to like wiggle with these little these little guys over here. This fusion overlay is really nice just for dealing with simple position of effects, um, where you don't need to mess with uh, these sliders in the inspector. Now for the right people uh, working in Resolve on the iPad, this could be a very, very big deal. Like those simple tracking effects or the masks, and I haven't bought Studio for Resolve on the iPad. This is all on the free version of Resolve. I think this magnify effect was free. The masks and the master tracker, those were paid plugins. Um, I do have individual versions of some tracking effects that are free, if you wanna check those out but I'm not sure where the general excitement level for Resolve on the iPad is, and I didn't see anyone talk about this specific new feature in as much depth as I wanted. This is super cool. 
And of course, kind of the other key of Resolve on the iPad is uh, Blackmagic Cloud and how seamless it can be to jump back and forth uh, between like iPad and desktop and have your files sync automatically. If this was a cloud project, something like that tracked uh, a video we were trying to do, if that was in a cloud project, I could even set it up here and then really quick hop onto my desktop, connect that footage the way I wanted, and then that would stay synced here as well and I would have tracked video in my scene. I do have a handful of ideas for some like proper like effects that I think would be really cool to kind of do natively on the iPad, especially with um, some of those other ways to get access to like the full Fusion page. I messed with my version of like the Apple like draw on uh, like text effect. That was pretty cool. So maybe I'll circle back to that. But you've got to let me know if you uh, uh, don't care at all about Resolve on iPad. This is a Resolve in general uh, channel. So I might talk about it if I think it's cool, but uh, I thought this was cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.